in the future, getting dressed may involve a lot more tech than you ever expected. So this is where, you know, you can see like it's really photorealistic quality, even though it's 3D. I see the fur like moving. Yeah. <laughs> First up, Amazon's Echo Look. They call it a style assistant. So we put it to the test. Alexa, 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 take a picture. Against an actual stylist. I want to see. So it's like. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. It's like, and then there we go. With its style check, the Echo Look mimics what an actual stylist does. Okay, so when you see this outfit, you know, what runs through your mind? Where you're going, what time of day it is, if it's um, a brunch or a lunch. Let's pretend like that I'm going to a friend's party, mm -hmm. okay? I don't know why, but Alexa doesn't know what the hell we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. But which one would you prefer then? The lace is like a nice, like night nighttime detail touch to the dress that I think would work better. Yeah, this seems more nighttime, mm -hmm. for sure. Let's do a style check. Its review takes some time, but when it's done, it ranks which one it likes the best. According to Alexa, I am supposed to wear the light blue daytime outfit. Oh, they say the color's better for mm -hmm. you. The outfit shape works better for you. Mm -hmm. Amazon's algorithm doesn't stop at telling you what looks good. It also tries to sell you clothes, but its suggestions are hit or miss. And while the Echo Look may help you decide between two looks, it can't take into account the nuance of where you're going. But when you hear about the development of all of these advanced technology, do you worry about the future of your job? For me, I personally don't. I think with you know the future of technology and fashion, I think will benefit like production and retail. As a stylist, like, there's just that you know interpersonal communication that you can't replace. Since the emergence of e-commerce, how we shop is moving away from stores. Some tech companies are trying to enhance the digital shopping experience by introducing AR and VR. How do you see AR and VR changing the shopping experience? We see it changing completely. Like if you think about e-commerce, every brand and every product essentially looks the same online. That doesn't encapsulate like what the brand is about. So we are building the technology that will enable any brand and retailer to create amazing, immersive, discovery-based shopping experiences. I is think it really that much better than online shopping it's is a lot currently? Better. You have to try it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And with this technology, we are getting closer and closer to the real world. Because the real world is three-dimensional. It's all around us. It's right. not just. So whatever technology can get us closer to the real world, like that's going to be the next thing. Eventually, this will be you. Because that's the holy grail for fashion. Right. It's like, I want to see how I look in this. Not only do you need a 3D model, but you need the physics built into this model to see how this fabric flows, like how, how it's going it to stretch. Right. Yeah. So all of that like is going is becoming possible. We are not quite there yet. If AR and VR want to change how we shop, digital avatars need to actually look and move like humans. Researchers from the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems created ClothCap, which captures how clothing moves on a digital avatar. It can also estimate how clothing looks on different body types. It'll be years before we're shopping in our bedrooms in AR and VR, but technology is getting smarter, and so might our style.